During the release of Chapter 179, it led to one of the most exciting developments in Jujutsu Kaisen, a three-way domain clash, but of course we were blue-balled by the logic of sorcery. Varied conditions and a cockroach put a damper on the exciting possibility of this three-way clash. It got me thinking though, if only someone could erect two barriers at once. Then it hit me. Curse Spirit Manipulation. Now this is just a fun scenario playing up on the what ifs of Curse Spirit Manipulation. Open your mind to the what if and have some fun in the comments because, well, being closed minded is how farmers think. And one more stipulation for this, we're not going to include Gojo or Sukuna in this because honestly, what would? And while I'm at it, I'm also excluding Higurum as well. Curse Spirit Manipulation would go crazy against other domains and be the ultimate win condition against domain users. There is a condition for this however, you need two Curse Spirits with domain expansion. An opponent opens up their domain, you have two curses, expand theirs, and the varied conditions causes all three to break. But the big thing to know here is the conditions relating to the barriers is what causes them to break. Since this is a what if and we know Curse Spirit Manipulation isn't held to the same restriction 10 Shadows has, you know the one of not being able to really utilize help when obtaining their future toolkit, I think it's safe to assume getting at least two curses with domain expansion isn't too crazy to consider even for Subaru Ghetto. But if you're having a hard time wrapping your mind around giving Ghetto that allowance, you can just put Kenjaku in that place and he just wants to use his barrier. Although I would like to defend Ghetto for a second. He was introduced before the concept of domain expansion was introduced. In my opinion the domain Kenny uses against Yuki is Ghetto's. The recent events in the manga further solidifies my personal belief. I could still be wrong however, but it, I think it's unfair to say Suru Ghetto didn't have a domain expansion just because it wasn't shown in volume 0 when they didn't exist. You know, we see the body hop users use two domain expansions at this point in the manga, and the second one we know for 100% is not Yuta Okotsu's own domain. Yuta doesn't fully have Gojo's memories yet, and if you're wondering why, take a look at this video here. I did it not too long ago and it's a good theory or I believe it's a good theory as to why he doesn't have the memories yet, which would explain domain amplification issue in the chapter. I choose to believe this newer evidence more so than special grade ghetto doesn't have a domain because he came out before the concept itself was introduced into the series. Unless Gege intended on his curse technique to function to what I proposed in this video of course. God, I have truly developed a YouTuber mindset. Still better than a farmer's mindset though, am I right? Maybe not. You see Curse Spear Manipulation can access their stockpile of curses rather quickly. So the clash happens and in this scenario, the barrier breaks. At this point in the fight, your opponent would be on Curse Technique Burnout. It's not that they can't use their ability, it just won't function properly. And all you have to do is Domain Expansion and GG, for the most part. And if you think Kururushi was the deciding factor of the three-way clash breaking the barriers, let's not act like there isn't a surplus of curses to be used in a similar way. If you still don't think the Curse Spirit Manipulation has a domain and you prefer not to subscribe to that proportion of this video, fine. The user could still just swarm his opponent with curses while they're in burnout. The original Jump Jutsu Kaisen was in Volume 0, thanks to Suru Geta with all those curses which usually fighting someone on Curse Technique Burnout leads to a much easier fight. After saying all this, I'm not particularly a huge Ghetto fan or Kenjaku for that matter, though Nurse Jaku was the best thing to happen for Kenny's character. I do think Ghetto is also Gege's top 3 best written character next to Choso and Higuruma. Actually my wife is also a very big fan of Suguru Ghetto, it's her favorite character. By the way, I think I might need to keep an eye on her. She's been walking around with this strange mark on her forehead. And speaking Japanese, even though she's Spanish. Well, I hope you can see the vision. Feel free to glaze or haze me in the comments. Let's just have fun and open up to fair discussions for all to join. That's what it's about. Trying to expand upon these theories, whether headcanon or what ifs or even crackpot theories. Let's just have fun with it. In these times of long breaks, that's the only way we're going to survive going forward before we implode upon ourselves on Twitter. But time will tell, I do believe Gege will confirm who the domain that Kenjaku used against Yuki is for. 
I subscribe to it being Subaru Ghettos, and I respect your decision if you disagree. Remember, till next time, stay normie, stay weave, shit even in between is fine. Until next time, peace.